This is a 2018 Fariner Cascadia. This is the truck I did a video about um, rocking engine head. It was making a loud noise. So that was the noise. Uh, it was a very loud noise and uh, of course there was a problem internally with the head. Uh, so I told you guys that the only way to inspect or to know what's the actual issue with this truck is by removing entirely the head. There is no other way. Um, actually, there is a way, an easier way than will be inserting an endoscope camera to it. I did other videos uh, on my, on, in, in the past using an endoscope camera. You have the camera and then you insert it to in, inside the combustion chamber. And then you will see the damage that the cylinder head had without removing it. But still it requires to remove a couple components on top area of the engine. But in this case, because you, we know that the engine has a problem, we had to remove the cylinder head. And in this case, of course, right, the cylinder head was bad, especially on cylinder number six. The valve was completely destroyed. It was push in because the spring pressure was pushing the valve all the way up and the seat of the valve got completely destroyed and the valve itself started shredding in pieces and that's the reason why there was compression leak like a super high compression leak the noise was coming from there um, of course right in this case uh, we see a lot of damage on this cylinder head the seat of the valve is completely destroyed and the head has a big damage on the side where the compression happens. Combustion chamber, the head, that, right, that area. It's the whole area that holds the pressure with the cylinders and the pistons. So uh, there is no way to uh, discard this problem. And it's more likely than we have to install a new head because, because in this case, this damage it's something that cannot be repairable that easy so uh, the best way to repair this issue is actually replacing the head and, but luckily we have the good news too because uh, the bottom area of the engine the pistons they have no damage so they, they're okay they don't have a major damage they just little little scratches here and there that's good and the cylinder liners as well they don't have much damage so that is a good news for the owner of this truck that way he doesn't have to spend that much money fixing it and um and downtime too so all we have to do in this case sounds we know already the damage that we have on this truck is replace the cylinder head install a new cylinder get head gasket and buy the whole top overhaul kit for this db15 engine a uh, repair like this is going to cost depending on the cylinder head the cost of this repair will vary depending on that. So let's say if we get a cylinder head from the dealer, we were talking about then we're gonna spend around $3,000 just in this cylinder head, plus the gasket kit, then it's gonna be around like another $900 with all the gaskets and the labor on doing it. So we're talking about the whole process of repairing this engine will cost around like $6,000 to $8,000 depending um, on the components then we are going to replace depending on the type of components as for example right as I say cylinder heads brand new but if we get a cylinder head from uh, a machine shop let's say then it's gonna be a little cheaper we probably two thousand dollars so one thousand dollars less so that will actually reduce the cost of preparing this engine probably like a one thousand two thousand so we're talking about like a, I will say that the average to fix an engine like this will cost around seven thousand dollars that will be the average um, but still like uh, when we fix an engine like this like for example uh, I'm talking about and we are going to replace just the cylinder head we are not going to do anything to the bottom area of the of the, of the engine so the cylinders and the pistons are still the same but the cylinder head is going to be the one that is going to be replaced entirely so when we do a repair like this we don't guarantee how long this engine is going to last because the bottom area is still the same so connecting rods can have damage uh, main bearings can have damage, main uh, crop bearings can have damage, pistons, rings and pistons and cylinder liners can present damage over the time. So there is no way to guarantee this repair. The only way to guarantee a repair after replacing a cylinder head is doing the whole overhaul because we know that the, the whole components of the engine will replace. But uh, still, like this doesn't mean that if you get to the point as this video, then you have a cylinder head that has the exact same damage that this engine has, and you don't have the budget to do the full engine, of course, right? It is okay if you do just a cylinder head. That way you don't feel forced 
to do the whole engine. It's a mechanic, for example, I, I see some mechanics, I see some technicians, then they will be saying to you, hey, your cylinder head is bad, you have to do the whole engine. If you don't do the whole engine, your engine is gonna be bad. After we started, probably can go bad. That's not true. If the engine was running fine, it was just the cylinder compression that was leaking, it's just to replace that problem. And then after that, it can run. But of course, we cannot guarantee how long it's gonna last. I cannot guarantee that. But it can, it can last one year, it can last six months, it can last two years, 10 years, we don't know. But until we get the exact number, that is when we are going to know how long it is going to last. But for the moment, this is all I'm going to show you, the continuation on this engine. And as you can see, it's all parts from the engine. Still many components inside because we didn't take the engine apart. The engine is still there. So uh, uh, all these components are coming just from the top area of the engine. So it's very important that when you do a job like this, you uh, keep these components on track so you know where the location of each component goes. And when you do, a repair like this, just be sure to replace every single gasket you remove because most of these gaskets are going to wear over the time, they will start leaking, so you don't want an engine that leaks after you repair it. So it is something that it is not something that you really want to happen after you don't repair. But um, this is all we have uh, for right now. We're gonna continue doing more videos about more engines and uh, the transmissions too, the DTOS transmissions are very common and I know for sure that you guys are having trouble over the road with these uh, vehicles uh, because they're very complicated, day by day they're getting more complicated. So I want to try to keep, keep up with that so you guys can understand more and more and can have some um, uh, savings on your side uh, and understand more about the trucks. So as always, like the video, share it. Uh, you wanna see me, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. You can see different things I'm doing there. Um, subscribe to the channel, it's very important so I can do videos like this for you. And I can do more details, more explanations, so different things than you really wanna know. Thank you for watching. Empecé lo que tú te has llevado, pensaba yo, con su dedo al dedo, con el territorio.